Hello everyone, today we have got a quick math challenge that's sneakier than it looks. A lot of people think they have got it figured out right away, but trust me, there's a little twist that can throw off even the best of us. Think you are for it? Let's dive in. The problem is 9 divided by 6, all divided by 3 times 4. Your answer choices are A1, B3, C108 and D9. Take a moment to look at it carefully and think it through. Have you logged in your answer? Great, let's dive in and see if you got it right. Alright, the key to solving this problem is following the correct order of operations and simplifying step by step. Before we start dividing, let's rewrite the expression in a simpler form. We have 9 divided by 6, all divided by 3 times 4. First, let's simplify the denominator. In the denominator, we have 3 times 4. Multiplying them gives us 12. So the expression now looks like this. Now let's rewrite 9 divided by 6 as a fraction. 9 divided by 6 is the same as writing it as a fraction 9 over 6. At this point, we are divided by 12. But remember, dividing by a number is the same as multiplying by its reciprocal. That just means plifting the number upside down. So instead of dividing by 12, we will multiply by 1 over 12. But before we do that, let's simplify 9 over 6 first. Both 9 and 6 can be divided by 3. So 9 divided by 3 is equals to 3. And 6 divided by 3 is equal to 2. So now our expression is 3 over 2 times 1 over 12. But wait, before we multiply, let's see if we can simplify even more. We notice that 3 in the numerator and 12 in the denominator share a common factor of 3. So let's divide both by 3. 3 divided by 3 is equal to 1. 12 divided by 3 is equal to 4. Now our expression simplifies further to 1 over 2 times 1 over 4. Since everything is fully simplified, we are ready for the final step, multiplication. Multiplying the numerators, 1 times 1 equals to 1. Multiplying the denominators, 2 times 4 equals to 8. So the simplified result is 1 over 8. And there you have it. The correct answer is C108. So did you get the right answer? If you did, awesome job. But if you made a mistake, no worries. Now you know exactly how to tackle problems like this. If you enjoyed this challenge, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe and ring the notification bell so you never miss out on more fun math puzzles. Catch you in the next one.